Hi guys! Today I thought I'd show you a quick tutorial. I think I said in my last video that I would um, just go through the stamp and scrub with you. So this is what it looks like. And you get it, it's got these little feet on and look it doesn't move. <laughs> so they really do cling. <laughs> clingy clingy. Basically <clears throat> If you just open it up, you have two sides to it. The first side on the left, I don't know if you can see this, but there's little um, like raindrops. So that's your wet side. And then in this corner you've got, again, not sure how clear you can see this, there's a little sun. So this is your dry side. And what you'll do is you'll spray with your Stampin' Mist on your wet side. And then when you've got your stamp, how am I going to do this? So say there's a stamp on your block, and what you'll do is you'll spray on the left where the little raindrops are. You'll then rub your stamp in there to clean it. And then on the left, on the right hand side where the little sun is, is your dry patch. So you'll just rub it over there to dry it. And that's it. No fuzzies, no faffing about, none of that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. Oh, and another thing, um, these pads will come out of here. They're just hooked in, kind of like a CD case. Do you remember what those were? Um, they're just kind of hooked in there. So when these, when you find that it's not cleaning as well, you can actually take these pads out, clean them with soap and water, let them air dry, and then pop them back in. Um, and so when I get to that stage, I'll show you guys again how to do that. Um, so yeah, so just a really quick video just to show you all about the Stampin' Scrub um, and your Stampin' Mist Cleaner, um, which also, I believe, conditions the stamps, which means they'll, you know, if you look after your stamps, they'll last a lot, lot longer. So there you go. Have a great day, guys. Bye.